Hello, I am Shidos Luis Nogueira, President of the European Buddhist Society, and we are here in Valencia, Spain, at Home Budojo. And today I would like to explain you the details about several uh, methods of tactics and strategies employed by the season on the feudal era. Today, the first uh, method that we are going to explain is the, what is called the Hansa Ume. When we are mm, explaining that what is Hansa Ume, these words are, uh, are uh, spoke on, uh, on Sisengo, that is the dialect of the Sisen then we cannot uh, apply by the regular Japanese. We have to translate from the Sisengo uh, and go to the Japanese to understand what we are dealing here. This Hansa means the same like in Japanese, it's Hitori. Remember that Hitori means that it's a single person. And this Ume is composed from Sisengo by two uh, parts, two sides. That uh, means like the hole in a tree. Then, uh, then it's a big hole or a large hole that we could find in the trees. And it could be uh, translated by Thai. Uh, this Thai is for, for big, for large. After that, we could uh, apply uh, the, the, uh, the Getsu. That this getsu comes from ana, that means uh, a hole. And finally, we have ki, that means that it's uh, a tree. Then this method comes because uh, it's there is a legend on the season that sometimes that uh, that uh, once upon a time someone who has uh, defend in the in the forest uh, need to to hide from the enemies after the attack he need to hide from the enemies in a hole of a tree and they believe that they has remained inside this hole hidden from the enemies for a large period of time we I, we mean, we understand as several days and uh, he was only uh, feeding him from uh, from the worms of the tree, and this was the legend that uh, started the knowledge of this technique because they used to employ, as they believed to be, as an ancient of the season that they were called the Harumo. This name comes from this Ha, that it's uh, like Tayo, that means the sun, and. This sun, it's like um, it's uh, it's for the season because for the season he is fire, but ha means like a big fire, the the the, the biggest fire, the largest fire that you will find that it's the sun, and this uh, kumo comes from uh, a spider then because they behave as spiders of the sun because they were hiding and taking maybe some caps or also the, the what they were the, the, uh, the leaves from the trees to hide from the enemies. Then this method was employed to defend uh, from an enemy, for example, that could be attacking us. For example, we have here on my left Sensei Rebecca Roca that will be carrying a tanto, and for example, if uh, she tries, it could be bare hand, but the most classical uh, situation will be uh, handling a sword or handling whatever, whatever weapon he could carry, but after attack, for example, on Makochi, this, from here, they start, no, 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 not that way, sorry, the tanto in here, an attack of Makochi, okay, and from here, they were ill, very, very violent, breaking and also sliding out the tanto to cut in several points, protecting from the enemies, also stabbing and having conditions to control. And after that, 
if we care that no one could be uh, noticed that we have M, she will fall to the ground and I will control and I will go down to avoid because we will be on night uh, scenario. No one will care what it could happen. Some, some, only some sound around and after that what I will do is I will go down and with a cloak or something, uh, a big uh, cloth, we could cover ourselves up in order to hide from the enemies. This re uh, reminds us to this umeda, to this tree, to this tree hole that we have explained from this method. Then the method needs to be in that way. It's also very common to employ the following. If she attacks, for example, for example, on Suki, it's to enter on this point, to enter inside, and after here, several steps here, here, and also have conditions here to control. I have here the tanto, also stabbing on the stomach, having the control, and going down to the ground. Also stabbing on the inside. With this control, we cover ourselves and hide from the enemies or also move into a, a, a position that we could be away from what it has happened around. Then it's a quick and fast explanation how to introduce what is this method of hand saume. The following one, we won't use the phantom anymore it's called about what they named of the... It's also Hansa because it will be a single person but at the same time we will don't use what it's Ume but we will use also what it's, uh, what it's called uh, about uh, Ugo or Ogo This, when they use the, this Go means like a bamboo and they could be translated as tai getsu chiku that it will be the big this big or this large hole in the in the in the bamboo and in the other side what it's called getsu that means it is the small hole in the bamboo. Why we have those separated big and small holes in the, in the bamboo? Because the smaller ones were like small spaces that we could have in the bamboo to use to stab, to, to cross with a small weapon. But we could say, uh, like, it's kobuki, that it's a small weaponry, that we mean tanto, we mean aikuchi, we mean wakisashi. These kind of shorts, this kind, this kind of blades could uh, trespass, could pass uh, by the inside as a way to make a surprise to. to to make a deception on the enemy because if one enemy is trying to follow us in a forest of bamboo we could, if we are prepared, we could hide uh, behind the bamboo and employ, for example, a what is assay around if I have, for example, a bamboo like here and we have a small, uh, a small hole in the middle, this could pass over and thrust in the enemy because maybe he could be surprised from trying to find where we could meet after Vincent Rebecca and pass the blade in also to uh, surprise. For example, if she 
I am, I am hiding between a great bunch of bamboo and the bamboo is here and has come. I am waiting and from here I will cast a stabbing inside of the bamboo. The key is how, uh, how dense is the, the bunch of, of, uh, of leaves, the bunch of, of trunks of bamboo that we could find in, in, uh, in the forest. If this is not uh, this is not small, it's a bigger one. We could employ what it's nagabuki. This nagabuki means that we will use uh, more larger uh, weapons, like for example yari or for example some kind of spears that the season will usually employ. The key here is also the same time to run away from the enemy and hide in the bamboo forest, in the bamboo bunch, and wait hidden for after the enemies arrive. When the enemies arrive, they used to employ this kind of uh, larger uh, holes to employ a yari from here, be prepared, and from here make a big uh, stuff here to strike one, remain on Tati Chimonji, the yari remains on vertical line, move very fast to the other side, I'm having other prepare to strike one more time and from here also moving, appearing on the enemy and when it seems, with the confusion, it seems that maybe I am in a weak position, in a weak situation to uh, wait for the enemy and take a Ichimonji Yari, it means that it's remain lying on the ground but it's covered, it's covered with leaves, with uh, leaves in the ground or covered and take it, you know, and from here prepare to use it to defend against the enemy that is trying to, uh, to hunt you. Then this method is what it's called the Hansa Ugo, Hansa Ugo, depending if you are employing a smaller uh, holes or larger holes. Someone used to also employ because someone said we were to in place of saying ume, ready uma. This uma comes from horse and was employed in battle situations when you used to hide with employing the horse of, of a dead horse when they used to open here by the stomach, by the thumb of the horse and go inside in order to uh, hide from the enemies that could be around. The next one that we want to explain today is what is called Dokugumo. They, the citizens, used to say that it's Dokugu because this doku means poison, like in Japanese, and this gu means uh, cloud. That's for the uh, Japanese language, it's what it's called the method of doku gumo. No ho, but it will be the method of the poisonous cloud. Uh, they used to, when they were like in Sen Ryaku, trying to escape from the enemy, they had prepared on the, over the bamboo. Rebecca, Sister Rebecca will be preparing a diagram of what I am explaining here. If we have several bamboo, a line, they used to employ over the bamboo, in the, the higher parts of the bamboo, they used to put a net, to put uh, a, a cloth, you could see over the bamboo and they used to, uh, to place several uh, powder poison in this net as you could see when they have this powder inside they used to run uh, passing to one side to the other 
and striking, striking the bamboo in order to uh, vibrate the bamboo and this bamboo will move, will move the whole uh, net and will make that the powder, the poisonous powder, will fall. And this means that when the season is trying to escape, to run and striking the bamboo, vibrating the bamboo, the powder will fall and the, the, the hunter that want to hunt the season uh, will be blinded by the poisonous uh, powder that it's falling, the dust, that it's the, the, the cloud uh, uh, dust that will uh, suffer trying to run after the, the season. And this method that is very curious because this is very season. This couldn't say anyone that this belongs to any other tradition. This is very uh, singular of our lineage, of our tradition to perform this method, to prepare in the runaways uh, some kind of nets with uh, poisonous powder, poisonous dust that uh, when they try to, to, to follow us, used to move, also to strike in order that all the dust uh, will fall and will blind and also will generate a very uncomfortable situation to give conditions to escape and run away from the situation. This is also uh, a very, very particular uh, explanation for tradition. The last one for today it's, what, it's a very interesting usage of what is the fire. When we are dealing about the fire methods, they, the season, used to know as what it's called, it's the ha mu po. Sorry, it's kamufo. This ka means fire. This mu, this is uh, this is Nihongo, this is Japanese language. This ka it's fire. This mu comes from take, that means war, and this po it's method. Then it's the method to employ the fire in uh, military situations. This is any way of employing fire. This was known by the, uh, when they mix with the samurai and when they mix to the Japanese tradition as a uh, hatonpo. But this is uh, other methods, uh, this, uh, those are other methods and no relation with that uh, strictly. After the kamupo, when they used to employ the fire as a, a way to contain, to way to uh, deceive the enemy, they were called, especially this has several methods, they have what it's called the ka gun po The ka gun po is also this gun from military and this po is the method of employing military the fire and they used to uh, place several uh, several uh, perimetral constructions of, uh, of fuel or something that it could be in fire to uh, maybe to uh, uh, deceive the enemy. The method that we could explain today is called fugu, uh, so sorry, fushugi. This fushugi where when they were in a, in a rice field they used to place in several points some vessels like that that you could find when they were being attacked these the, the last ones to protect the to protect the village they used to break all of them and generating like a barrier that it would be a fuel or something like could, uh, could be on fire and they light the fire to uh, create a wall of fire this around. The village, it will be on this place and when the enemy is coming, they will find a wall of fire. This fushugi means like a miracle or a wonder. 
and it's a fire wonder that avoids him to enter the village and give conditions to the uh, weaker uh, people of the village, I mean the, uh, the children, I mean the old men, give conditions to escape from the village and prepare the defenses on the other side to protect from the attackers that they could uh, be in attacking the, 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 the village or the town. Moreover that, it's also employed these kind of methods when they, when someone is trying to run inside the forest and they perform these kind of uh, circles that it's also called ring, uh, 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 ring boga, this ring boga, this ring comes from the, the ring and uh, it's a ring of fire because this uh, was uh, someone that it's running away, go inside, crossing, no one hap nothing happens, but at the end lights the fire around. And the ones that are following that will be here will be surrounded by fire. And that that's that was a way to conceal under fire and have control to the people go around and of course several ones could be here uh, firing with, uh, with some uh, distance weapons, maybe the bows and several other to the ones that are concealed inside the ring of fire. Then we have here several methods to explain uh, some of the strategies of the deceptions and several tactics that could be applied on war situation and also on escaping situations. I hope that you have enjoyed and thank you for, uh, for following in our channel. Thank you very much and see you next time.